Here at Christie's, the auction of Eric Clapton's guitars is drawing a crowd in the preview hall. I've learned a lot about these great instruments and where they fit into the guitarist's career. But I want to know why Eric Clapton would be willing to part with his most precious possessions. Tim Sinnott is the CEO of Crossroads, a nonprofit treatment center for patients overcoming dependency, located on the Caribbean island of Antigua. It is the brainchild of Eric Clapton, who struggled with his own substance abuse problems. This auction will help others in need because the proceeds are going directly to Crossroads. He's auctioning off instruments that means obviously so much to him. I think, you know, for Crossroads, it's an affair of the heart for him. He really uh, wants to see it succeed. This is actually the second time Christie's has hosted an auction of Eric Clapton's guitars. How are these guitars different from the first batch of guitars that were auctioned off? Mr. Clapton refers to this batch as the 18. These are the ones that he held back from the first auction. So uh, I think they have a lot more meaning to him. One of the premier guitars is Blackie, which has been a big part of his life for many years. You know, he wants to see them being used by other people. There's an opportunity to spread the wealth as well as to bring in some funds for Crossroads Center Antigua. In 1999, the first auction brought in over $5 million for Crossroads. Tim is hoping that these vintage and historic guitars will bring in at least that much. Now, Eric Clapton, he's such a successful musician. He's had an amazing career. He certainly made a lot of money. Um, he could just write you a check. Why auction off his guitars? Mr. Clapton is somebody who, uh, you know, believes in the philosophy of recovery. And one of the tenets of recovery from addiction is that in order to keep it, you have to give it away. So this is just a perfect example of that. It was an amazing experience getting a close-up look at the guitars that had made rock and roll history. But now that I know why Clapton is willing to part with them, they've taken on a whole new meaning. And when we return, the guitars go on the block at Christie's. On the day of the Clapton guitar auction, the usually buttoned-down Christie's takes on a whole different look. The auction world, some days can get a little stuffy, but tonight, it's all about rock and roll. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Very warm welcome to the Crossroads guitar auction. Tim Sinnott of Crossroads is here, hoping that the bidders will open their hearts and wallets for the Crossroads Center and break the previous mark of $5 million for a Clapton auction. On behalf of Mr. Clapton and the entire staff at Crossroads Center, I'd like to welcome you all here and thank you for coming. I'm not bidding on any of these items. The prices are gonna get steep, especially for a guy who can't even play a chord on a guitar. But everyone else in this packed room, along with hundreds of bidders on the phone and over the internet, are here to bid and bid high. The first high-end item, Lot 19, the acoustic guitar that Clapton played on MTV's Unplugged. Thousand dollars, please. Thank you, sir. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's estimated to go for an incredible $60,000, but even that princely sum proves to be too low. 50,000, well done, sir, at 50. I have 55 behind you, though, sir. 65. No hurry, sir. At 65,000. <laughs> Just worry about me, sir. Only money, sir. The auctioneer is having fun with this crowd and working them into a bidding frenzy. 120,000, 130,000, 140, 280,000. 300,000, 380,000, 400,000, 450,000, 480,000, and sold. The bidding finally ends at $750,000. And Cherry Red, one of Clapton's favorites, 
the one he played on the final tour with Cream. It was estimated at sixty to eighty thousand dollars, but the final cost was eight hundred and forty-seven thousand five hundred dollars, a world record for any Gibson guitar. The tally is rising. The auction has already taken in over five million dollars. But then we come to the final lot. The guitar Clapton played for thirty years, Blackie. It's estimated to go for one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. But once again. Rock history breaks all expectations. How much, sir? One hundred thousand. Uh, One hundred thousand offered here. One hundred ten. Thank you, sir. One hundred twenty, sir. One hundred twenty thousand. Five hundred thousand. I hear. Six hundred thousand. I'm offered. Seven hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Any advance for Blackie at eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Eight hundred and fifty thousand to the second row. Any advance for eight hundred and fifty thousand? The bids here. Last lot of the evening. Fair warning. Sold eight hundred and fifty thousand. Blackie has shattered the estimate. And Eric Clapton has brought a record windfall to the Crossroads Center. Ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to announce that tonight's auction for Crossroads has realised a magnificent total of six million four hundred and forty-three thousand two hundred dollars. Well done, and thank you very much indeed. Good night. Cherry Red and Blackie were purchased by Guitar Center. The company plans on taking them on tour. So fans who couldn't make the auction get a chance to view the instruments, and Christie's has presided over an historic event. It seems that all you need for an amazing auction is a great cause, a legendary artist, and a little dash of rock and roll. That is one of the craziest things I have ever seen. A few hours, a few guitars, millions of dollars for Crossroads. Now the auction's over. The auction hall is emptying out. Kind of feel like it's the end of a rock concert. I'll see you at the next auction.